So I grew up in Kitchener, Waterloo, in a house that my grandfather built. Middle school came around and I became a little more withdrawn, a little less social, and after school the snacking wasn't exactly ideal. The daily routine was a Mars bar, bag of chips and a Pepsi. I started putting on weight and then in high school I'd reached a weight of around 165 pounds. Heading into university, we were looking at options and I knew I had to try to keep up with some really fit, active classmates and it inspired me to start running and that's where my health and fitness journey started and, and the rest is sort of history. My heaviest was around 170 pounds and I weigh between 110 and 115, so probably about 65 pounds difference between then and now. And not just weight difference, but uh, I'm able to do things now that I was never able to do before. So that's my focus now, is to be able to do all the things that I want to do with my body, be able to move my body every way that I possibly can, whether it's upside down, backwards, hanging by my knees, upside down off the equipment, all that fun stuff. I think the biggest adjustment, and the biggest challenge was to be a little more persistent and not be, you know, pouty in the corner. Like, no, I'm not leaving the, the table because I have to finish my broccoli. Like, it was sort of being gentle with myself, but also being firm on that, like, KD and hot dogs is not, does not a dinner make. So, I got there. I got there. I made it. January 2015 rolled around and I wasn't really feeling like myself and I knew one of the things that was missing was a fitness routine so I had done some googling and looked at the gyms around town. The World Gym was like three blocks from my house so decided to come in and join and the front desk staff were super nice. There was a cat running around the gym and I kind of looked over at the front desk and I was like and they were like no no thumbs up Jimmy lives here the cat lives here. I just fell in love with the atmosphere around World Gym, the staff, the members. You can almost always count on like a nod or a wave or like a thumbs up, high five from another member, a trainer, a staff member. And it keeps people going. You can't buy that in a gym membership. It just is what Bruce and Kelly started. Oh, there was a time I couldn't kick my feet up a wall. I couldn't support myself on my arms extended. I try and I try and I try and I fail every time, but learning to progress gradually, work on things that you know you're good at, that you can still do better, and then work on those new things too that are a new challenge. So I'll start with a forearm stand and then I'll try a handstand. And it doesn't work, go back to a forearm stand, try another handstand. probably after my feet came back down off the wall. It was one of those like, yes, and then like jumping up and down and no one knows what's going on, but you're proud of yourself. And I think that carries over a lot. The success that people have here in the gym carries a lot uh, into the rest of their lives. I think it's really a, a healthy thing to acknowledge that we do feel frustration. We do feel all, a huge range of emotions. That's normal. But to have a way to express them, work through them, and then get back to a happy place, I think is one of the best things um, about being a member here at World Gym and um, making health and fitness a priority in your life.